Welcome back. Coming back on 922. It is the middle of spring. Feels like that right now, almost summertime. And with that comes the peak of allergy season. Many of you are probably dealing with the sneezing, the watery eyes, the, the, the itchy eye. Just talking about it makes me want to sneeze and just. It's I a lot. know. I promise it's not a visine commercial because no. those issues could range from being <laughs> annoying to a real problem. So, here with some tricks on handling allergy season, oh. it's Dr. Joe Reed, an allergist and immunologist with Oshner Baton Rouge. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. This is a topic we all love to talk Hi. about because everyone in the studio suffers from seasonal allergies. and in Louisiana, apparently we're not alone. Yes, yes. <laughs> Lots of people suffer from seasonal allergies. Oh, man. This is, we were just talking about, you've got like a, a two-decade career in this, right? Yes. Now, uh, you've been all over the place from, from California to, to here to Mississippi to Florida. We, we have to have it the worst, right? But maybe We have it pretty bad. bad. Where's pretty the worst? Bad. Um, the worst would probably be Memphis just because of the number of trees that are located there. But we definitely <sighs> have a significant uh, uh, amount of allergies and, and patients here in, uh, in Louisiana. Yep, so let's talk that. about the trees, the yeah. stuff that the tree, uh, pollen. Mm. Oh, pollen is my worst enemy. Mm. If I could throw it at my worst enemy, I would. Yeah, you would. You know, what can we do when we are allergic to pollen and you start feeling, you walk outside and that onset of sneezing, the watery eyes, what are some of the things that we can do to avoid feeling like that? That's a great question. So right now, grass pollen is really bad. So one of the things that you can do is keep your car clean because pollen settles on your car. So every time you go to your car, you're exposing yourself to more pollen. Keep your windows rolled up. At the end of the day, because pollen is so sticky, making sure that you take a shower and remove your clothing. If those type of avoidance measures don't work, you could also do things like oral antihistamines, Zyrtec, Loratadine, Benadryl, nasal sprays like Flonase, Nasacort. Those things are extremely helpful. But if those things, avoidance as well as medications, aren't quite cutting it, then we're so happy to help and do something called desensitization. That's where we'll give you or expose you to small incremental doses of what you're allergic to, oh. to change your immune system so your body no longer responds as if it's foreign. Wow. So we're happy to do that for so you if you need it. low dose allergy kind yes. of exposure to yes. eventually hopefully trigger a better response by, have you, has that, we've seen that work? I mean, because look, if, if folks could do that in Louisiana, I mm -hmm. feel like they'd be, I'm on a cocktail of like three different medicines every single day to try to do so if that works, I mean, that'd be, and it does. It's, it's, a, it's a game changer for a lot of wow, patients no and works pretty significantly for a lot of people. How so long does that take? It could take a couple of months to really start seeing improvement, four to six months to notice or appreciate an improvement, but it takes actually three to five years to completely alter the immune system. Makes okay. sense. So it is a commitment. Wow, yes. yeah, you got to be diligent well, about down it. down here, it's working. Yes. So for people who are like, okay, I just know I'm allergic to something. I know I go outside and start mm -hmm. getting itchy eyes and start feeling sniffly. Do you guys offer allergy testing for people to figure out exactly yes. what they're allergic to? We do. We definitely offer, offer testing to uh, various grasses, tree pollens, weed pollens, for things that are seasonal, and then you also have what we call perennial, so things that you're exposed to year-round. Wow. Dust mites, dog, cat, mold, and cockroach would be things that you're exposed yeah. to year-round. So you can be tested for all of those things. Wow. If you're really, really bad at this time of the year, it's mm -hmm. usually grass pollen. So in the spring, late winter, spring is grass and tree pollen. Usually late summer, fall is more of your weed pollen. And then, of course, the things that I mentioned year-round can cause symptoms year-round. Wow. Allergic to cockroaches. I know. I think my, 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 my mom was when I was growing up. Uh, Get home from school. She's like, take care of all that. Yeah. Like, she was allergic to cockroaches. Matt had a job. Oh, I really do. <laughs> Where do we go to find a bit more information about this and maybe hook ourselves up with an immunologist? How can we find some more information? Well, Ostrom would be a great place to go. There we you have go. several allergists there ready and willing to help you. Awesome. Good Our hero, Dr. Joe Reed. <laughs> no thank you for talking with us thank about you that again today. Thank you for having me. Oh, that's awesome. If you want to learn more, there you go. Ostrom Baton Rouge. We'll sneeze our way to commercial and see you in a minute. It's 926. <laughs>